Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the mechanism of synthesis of hormones. First we shall discuss the synthesis of peptide and protein hormones. Peptide and protein hormones are synthesized on the rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, of endocrine cells. It follows the mechanism of protein synthesis in the cell. Jisme transcription hoti hai, phir translation hoti hai, aur phir post-translational modifications hoti hai. The hormones in the first step are produced as large proteins जो भी protein uh, uh, hormone बनता है वो as such वो वाला hormone नहीं होता जो finally release होता है बल्के it is comparatively larger in size and has extra amino acids with it and this hormone is called pre-pro-hormone it is a direct result of translation of the transcripted messenger RNA This pre-pro-hormone is not the active form of hormone. These pre-pro-hormones are sent into the endoplasm into the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum के ऊपर तो ribosomes इनको बनाते हैं, फिर उसके बाद ये बनने के बाद endoplasmic reticulum के lumen में चले जाते हैं, और वहाँ पर travel करते हुए इनको कुछ हिसा इनका क्लीव किया जाता है और as a result they are converted into pro hormones these pro hormones are then transferred to the golgi bodies uh, where they are packaged into secretory granules inside the secretory granules there are certain enzymes which further cleave them and produce smaller active hormones out of them. These vesicles with active hormone are stored within the cytoplasm or they remain bound with the plasma membrane and they are released when they are required. Jab koi stimulus receive ho ke hormone ko release kiya jaye तो फिर उस वक्त इसको रिलीज कर दिया जाता है। The release of peptide hormone is uh, occurs by exocytosis. Dear students, now we shall discuss the synthesis of steroid hormones. The steroid hormones are not stored in the glandular cells. They are synthesized from cholesterol uh, instantly when the stimulus is received. इस तरह से इनको बना के रख के secretory vesicles में बंद नहीं किया जाता, बल्कि जब stimulus receive होता है, instantly cholesterol से इनको बनाया जाता है और release भी कर दिया जाता है. These uh, for this purpose, cell maintains a large store of cholesterol which can be rapidly utilized. Steroid hormones are also not packaged in the vesicles. Once they are synthesized, they are immediately diffused out of the cell and enter the blood. In ki diffusion is liye asan hai ke they are lipid soluble molecules is liye they uh, can diffuse out by simple diffusion. Dear students, now we shall discuss the synthesis of amine hormones. The amine hormones which are produced from the thyroid and adenal medulla are synthesized by the action of enzymes on amino acid tyrosine. The tyrosine se synthesis ka method to kafi hat tak inka common hai, lekin synthesis ke baad inki packaging mein thoda sa difference hai. 
जो थायरॉइड हार्मोन्स हैं उनको सिंथिसाइज करने के बाद एक प्रोटीन जिसे कहते हैं थायरोग्लोबुलिन उसके साथ बाइंड कर दिया जाता है और बाइंड करके इनको आ, स्टोर कर लिया जाता है थायराइड के फोलिकल्स में जबकि कैटिकोला मीन्स यानी एपीनेफ्रीन और नॉर एपीनेफ्रीन इनको एडिनल मेडुला में बनाने के बाद वेजिकल्स में स्टोर करते हुए एक प्रोटीन जिसे क्रोमोग्रेनिन प्रोटीन कहते हैं उसके साथ बाइंड कर दिया जाता है इस तरह से बोथ टाइप्स ऑफ हार्मोन्स आर बाउंड विद प्रोटीन्स इन दी वेजिकल्स हाउ बिफोर सिक्रीशन दे आर क्लीव फ्रॉम देयर रिस्पेक्टिव प्रोटीन्स थाइराइड अमाइंस आर सप्लीट फ्रॉम द थायरोग्लोबुलिन एंड द फ्रीड हार्मोन्स आर रिलीज इन टू द्लड when they enter the blood these thyroid hormones when they enter the blood they again combine with plasma proteins which slowly release them in their target tissues similarly catecholamines are released from chromogranins before their exocytosis from adrenal medullary medullary cells when these catecholamines enter the blood they can exist in the plasma in free form or they bind with the uh, other substances